students are chemistry experiments. A standard solution is a solution of precisely known concentration. A primary standard is a substance that can be found in a stable, pure and soluble solid form so that it can be accurately weighed out and dissolved in water to make a solution of known concentration. I'm going to take you through the steps to accurately weigh out our solute that we're going to use to make up a standard solution. To do this, we're going to use a laboratory balance. I then place a clock glass on top of the balance and re-zero. I'm aiming to weigh out 1.3 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate. It doesn't have to be exactly 1.3 grams as long as I know exactly how much I've weighed. Okay, 1.33 grams of sodium carbonate weighed out. I'm going to transfer the sodium carbonate solute into the beaker by washing it down from the clock glass using deionized water. Making sure to wash every little bit of the sodium carbonate into the beaker. I'm now going to dissolve all of the solute in the beaker by stirring with a glass rod. I'm going to transfer my dissolved solution of sodium carbonate into a 250 ml volumetric flask. To do this I use a funnel and I'm also going to use my glass stirring rod. This helps to prevent spillages. So slowly transferring, ensuring all of the solution makes its way into the volumetric flask. Once I've done this I ensure that every drop of solution makes its way in by rinsing the glass rod and the beaker fully. Now I know the exact quantity of sodium carbonate in the volumetric flask. Now I will top up the volumetric flask with deionized water up to within about one centimeter of the graduation mark. The reason I'm using deionized water is because tap water can contain some contaminants which may interfere with our titration later. So once I get to about one centimeter, within one centimeter of the graduated mark, I stop. I carefully bring the bottom of the meniscus up to the graduation mark, adding dropwise, and making sure my eyes are level with the graduation mark. There. I've stoppered the volumetric flask, and now I'm going to invert it more than 10 times to ensure that I get a homogeneous solution in the volumetric flask. This is essential for carrying out titrations. Shaking the flask or swirling it will not give a homogeneous solution because of the shape of the volumetric flask, because of the neck.